and welcome back to U.S. Marker Board. My name is Scott Newman. Today we're going to take a look at one of the Boss Executive Leather Chairs. Uh, my goal today is to show you how the box comes, what you will get inside the box, and how to put the chair together. Of course, at the end we're going to show you how comfortable the chair is, and uh, let's get started. So the box itself is, uh, is this big. It comes uh, UPS or FedEx ground. It's 45 pounds and everything that you need is in the box. I've already taken off a couple of straps and have loosened up the tape for us. So inside the box, everything is really well packed. You've got your hardware. This is your, your shock for your chair in one box. Um, it comes with an Allen wrench and it comes with plugs to cover over the screws. And all of the screws that you will need are actually already in the chair. So what we're going to need to do is take the chair and the screws out and put them back in when we put the chair together. The good part about it is you don't have to go looking for hardware and you don't have to worry about whether the hardware is in the box because at the time of assembly they actually put it in the chair so you know which screw goes where. So let's start taking everything out of the box and let's get started. So everything looks really well packed in here. Um, this is the, uh, the adjustment for your seat. And, uh, and you have your instructions right here. And this is your base. And your casters. All right. Well, that's, that's, what, that's everything that's in the box. So, let's put everything back up here on the table. And uh, let's get started. So the instructions are nice and easy. They give you step-by-step -step instructions to put the chair together. Um, it tells you which, which pieces go where and where to get started. So you get started right here and get these off. And we'll recycle our parts later. It's always good to recycle what you can. Now what you might need to do is um, get yourself a rubber mallet and um, give the casters a little uh, whack and they will go in nice and tight. And that will take care of the casters. Now the next up is our shop. sets right in the center of the hole and we follow the directions and now it's time to put our chair together the rest of the chair together so as I had mentioned it comes with all the screws already set for you so you don't need to know which where the screws are or which screws go where it's already done for you
there's a mark, front, so you want the front up to go on the chair. What you want to do now is you need to get yourself a screwdriver, and the screwdriver will, uh, so you can take the screws out and tighten them back down. So welcome back. What I've done is uh, basically I just unpacked the rest of the chair, folded it open, and I took all the screws out of the bottom of it. What I've done now is I've taken the, the adjuster that we have and I put one screw lightly in here and one screw lightly down there. Now when you fold it open, this bracket right here is going to come over the top of it, which is what you want. You'll notice that when you take all the screws out, that there are four longer screws, and those four longer screws are for this bracket right here. So what you want to do is line everything up so that the four brackets and the holes go right through here into the chair below. Now, as much as you might want to use a drill to get the screws in, my suggestion would be to use a screwdriver. And the reason is, is because it's very, very easy to over drill it if you use a drill and you put the drill on too quickly, it will screw out the inside of the chair. You don't want to do that. Take your time, use a good screwdriver, use a Phillips head, and tighten the screws down to the best of your ability. That's my suggestion. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put all the screws in, and then before I finish, I'm going to put the chair on top of the base, and we'll take a look. Thank you, buddy. As I'm doing this, you'll notice that I'm not tightening all the screws down. I'm putting them in and then I will go back and tighten them all afterwards. You want to get the bracket set um, first and then you can always go back and tighten the screws down. But it's much easier if the bracket can move than if it's tightened down in one location you'll probably end up having to loosen it up. Uh, gone ahead and tighten our screws down, everything's the way we want it. What we're going to do is we're going to set it on top of the base, take the rest of the plastic off, put on our plugs and use our new chair. Now this generally is better with, uh, easier with two people. on the chair. Uh, it comes loose so it folds into the box. Give those a little twist. Then we're going to put our cap on. So the uh, neat part about the uh, chairs, the forms, that's one of the pe pieces I like. Well, there you have it. And one of the cool parts is that you don't have a short seat. This is a full seat. It's a full seat width-wise and a full seat length-wise. So you get a nice, comfortable chair to sit in while you're working. Well, that's it. Thanks for you coming to U.S. Market Board. And uh, this is the new executive leather chair. Have a great day.